Though the underlying cause of Alzheimer's disease has yet to be found, there's an increasing burden of proof on the role of metals in the development of the disease. Iron and copper, for example, strongly concentrated within the plaques and tangles that represent the hallmarks of the Alzheimer's brain. Alzheimer's disease victims have higher levels of copper in their blood and in the fluid that surrounds their brain and inside their brain. Here's a slice of Alzheimer's disease brain tissue showing the amyloid plaques corresponding to the copper hotspots. Copper may then make these amyloid plaques more toxic, leading to increased oxidative stress. Free copper is extremely efficient in the generation of free radicals. And when copper is removed with a chelating drug, the free radical oxidation drops. Unfortunately, when researchers tried giving that drug to nine Alzheimer's patients in a pilot study, it did not seem to have any effect on slowing the clinical progression of the disease, so maybe we need to prevent the copper buildup in the first place. Organ meats and shellfish are the richest food sources of copper, but should we also consider cutting down on plant sources, such as nuts, seeds, legumes, and whole grains? Copper intake only seems to be a problem when consumed with saturated fat or trans fat. In the Chicago Health and Aging Project, thousands of elderly Chicagoans were followed for six years. Those who were getting the highest copper doses, largely from multivitamin supplements, combined with a diet high in saturated fats, lost cognition as if they aged 19 years in a period of six years, tripling their rate of cognitive decline but copper intake was not associated with cognitive change when the diet was also not high in saturated fats. Diet-induced high cholesterol has been shown to increase the formation and progression of amyloid plaques in the brain, and dietary copper may interfere with clearance of amyloid from the brain and may further promote the plaque accumulation that results from elevated cholesterol levels. Copper has been shown to interact badly with amyloid, causing its clumping and the production of uh, hydrogen peroxide, a potent prooxidant neurotoxin. This may explain why the higher the levels of copper, the quicker Alzheimer's disease may progress, particularly those with high cholesterol levels. This is how the cholesterol levels from the saturated fat consumption and the metals interact. This is what we think is happening. As uh, cholesterol and copper levels rise, cholesterol is incorporated in the nerve cell membrane, causing it to stiffen. The amyloid protein in the membrane detaches to form plaques, at which iron and copper generate these neurotoxic free radicals. Inside the cell, similar havoc is created, and finally cholesterol-enriched diets can lead to nerve cell death, DNA damage, and blood-brain and blood barrier disruption. In conclusion, Present systematic review suggests that a diet rich in copper and iron might aggravate the detrimental effects of a high intake of cholesterol and saturated fat on the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. So diets rich in saturated fat and deficient in antioxidants appear to promote the onset of the disease, while more plant-based diets would likely suppress its onset. There are Compounds in plant foods that not only scavenge free radicals and prevent oxidative damage, but also known to chelate or bind up metals, potentially making them additionally protective against the onset of Alzheimer's. Therefore, the practical implications could be to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, avoid copper-containing supplements, and avoid high intakes of saturated fat and excessive iron intake.